In July 2017, no one knew exactly who Changpeng Zhao was. However, just eight months later, CZ became a billionaire and was running the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume. The question today is how did CZ become the most powerful man in crypto? Before we answer this mighty question, I want to remind you all to click that subscribe button below to keep our best content coming your way every week. Now, back to the story. The story of Changpeng Zhao, also known as CZ, starts in China. He was born in 1977, so the overtly totalitarian communist rule in China was coming to an end. However, there was still some appetite for Soviet-era repression in China. For example, intellectuals were routinely sent into exile. That was a sad fate that CZ's father also suffered shortly after his son's birth. This kicked off a chain of events that resulted in the entire family leaving China and relocating elsewhere. By the end of the 80s, CZ's family chose to move to Canada to start a new life. CZ, at the time, was just 12 years old and had to immediately start working to support his family. After competing high school, CZ decided to study computer science at McGill University in Montreal, Canada. After college, CZ was selected for an internship in Tokyo. He took the opportunity with open arms and soon found himself working for a subcontractor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. CZ didn't know it at the time, but his experience at the stock exchange would eventually mold his career and give him the financial knowledge needed to build Binance. Time flew and CZ wanted something more and decided that Shanghai was the place to find it. In 2005, he made his move to the city and founded Fusion Systems. By this point in his career, CZ essentially had all the skills he needed to build a company like Binance. He was a guru at computer science and had spent years in finance and high-stakes trading. It was almost like he was being built for his role in cryptocurrency. CZ spent eight years in Fusion System, his company was thriving, profit margins weren't bad, and business was booming. But then, a friend introduced him to crypto in 2013, and he immediately knew that it was something he had interest in. The friend who introduced CZ to crypto was an investment poker player named Bobby Lee. Lee told him that if he invested just 10% of his net worth into Bitcoin, the coin could be worth 10 times its value and CZ would be twice as rich. And if Bitcoin lost all of its value, CZ would have lost just 10% of its net worth. According to Lee, investing into Bitcoin was a no-brainer. And CZ saw the logic in his argument and believed his friend completely. To prove just how dedicated he was to Bitcoin, CZ immediately sold his apartment to buy Bitcoin and quit his job to switch to crypto. He spent much of 2013 researching Bitcoin as quickly as he could and he even attended conferences. Because of his immense networking efforts, he soon got on the blockchain.info team. After just a year of working there, CZ left to become the CDO at OKCoin. However, he didn't find success at OKCoin and he left a bit later. In July 2017, he eventually put all his knowledge to work by creating Binance. That same month, he raised $15 million for the company through an ICO and the company started growing almost exponentially. Just in eight months, Binance had surpassed Blockchain.com and became the largest exchange by trading volume. And CZ was suddenly one of the most influential men in crypto. He was also worth $1.2 billion. However, Binance wasn't an instant success. Just as the company was expanding, the Chinese government banned ICOs and eventually banned crypto exchanges. While crypto ecosystem was still reeling from the ban, Chinese regulators banned crypto exchanges in their entirety. Fortunately for Binance, its IP address wasn't in China, unlike that of its biggest competitors. That means that competitors had to close down and they found it difficult to diversify their customer base outside China. Binance, on the other hand, had no problem with staying open since its servers weren't affected by Chinese regulations. Hence, following the Chinese ban, Binance was able to get a huge chunk of their businesses. Today, CZ is still the head of Binance, and Binance is still the world's biggest exchange. The success of Binance has rewarded him handsomely too, as he is now worth $10 billion. Despite being this wealthy, CZ doesn't have expensive cars, houses, or anything of the sort. He wears simple clothes, shoes, and looks like your everyday guy. The only difference is that he's been on the cover of the Forbes magazine, and he's one of the richest people on the planet. Now, everything seems merry, but here's the flip side. Sam Bankman-Fried was also one of the most powerful men in crypto and had an impressive grass-to-gray story. 
However, he ended up being corrupt and fraudulent founder who mismanaged user funds and ran deeply dishonest business. Let's hope this is not the case for CZ. Also, Binance has only been around for six years. That's not enough time to judge just how sound the business is. In fact, recent events surrounding PTX suggest that we should be a bit more wary of large centralized exchanges like Binance. Anyway, after all is said, CZ is probably the third most influential person in crypto after Satoshi and Vitalik right now. His actions, for good or for bad, will influence the future of crypto. That's why it's important to know who he is. And that's all for this video, make sure you're subscribed to Dailycoin to be in reach for similar content every week. See you next time!